But the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. some information at the house of Dana. But the more I read, the more I realized that my thesis lacks integrity. I didn't cover many of the possible outliers and my calculations aren't precise enough. I should have been done with the first draft of my thesis by now, but I've barely written a third. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I have to keep looking up as much info as possible. I shouldn't give up now. But who am I kidding? Maybe I'm not cut out to be a researcher. Maybe I shouldn't have come to the academia in the first place. All I've done is cause trouble for my advisor and classmates. Uh, I should probably notify my advisor sooner than later, so he can focus his attention on the other students. Uh, uh, no, I don't even have the guts to bring it up, and I haven't completely given up yet. To be honest, I haven't slept a wink for days. <sighs> Just thinking about the awful state of my thesis keeps me up at night. Lack of sleep hinders my ability to focus, and if I can't focus, I can't do any proper research or thinking. Oh, I'm stuck in a vicious cycle. I've seen the caliber of the other academia students. They're all geniuses and fast learners. I'm nowhere near as gifted as they are. Oh, if it wasn't for someone who's been helping me out, my advisor probably would have kicked me out of the Darshan by now. Uh, no. All of my friends are back home. I'm the only one who got to come study at the academia. Ah, uh, this might sound strange, but I actually don't know who's been helping me. I don't even know if they're a person or not. Ooh, due to my lack of sleep, I sometimes get dizzy and faint when I'm stressed out. Yeah, but oddly enough, when I wake up, all the things I was stressing over are taken care of. Uh, my homework somehow finished before the deadline, and my papers are perfectly written. But that's not all. My flowers are watered, laundry's done, even my broken camera was fixed. I really don't know what's going on, but for now, I'm calling the phenomenon a blessing from the stars. Maybe the stars above decided to help out after seeing all the effort I put into my research. <laughs> if that's even possible. <sighs> but there's no point in me studying at the academia if I keep relying on this mysterious phenomenon. It comes down to my own efforts, improving one step at a time. Uh, how else can I honor my 
my parents and live up to the expectations of everyone who knows me. Oh no, I've already spent too much time chatting. Ah, oh, I still haven't made much headway on my thesis. At this rate, I'll need the Wisdom Seelie's help. Yes, but time's of the essence, so I have to take what I can get. Oh, sorry. I'm just making excuses. But the Wisdom Seely is truly amazing and freely shares its endless knowledge. Oh, if you want its help, all you have to do is write down your question and you'll get a response a short while later. Uh, no one knows who or what it actually is. It's just known as the Wisdom Seely. But getting an answer all comes down to the Seelie's mood. Sometimes it'll only give you a vague answer or play tricks on you. I'm pretty sure a researcher wouldn't do something like that. Uh, all I can do right now is hope that it helps me. Uh, who knows if it'll happen this time. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. Trying my luck with another phenomenon is... Oh, better than doing nothing. Oh, really? But I don't want to take up your time. Sorry for the bother. You're too kind. Okay, let's go give it a try. I've already prepared my question for the Sealy. Oh, I just hope it can help me get through this predicament. Among the countless legends surrounding the House of Dana, the Wisdom Seely is one of the more popular ones lately. It hasn't been around for long, but word of the Seely's existence spread like wildfire. Many people have claimed that they've received a reply from it. So, it should probably help me as well. Right? I don't know its name, and we have to keep our voices down in the house of Dana. Oh, or else you'll get some scary glares from the Mahamada. Let's split up and ask around about the Seelie. Hopefully someone knows something more. Silly. <laughs> You've come to the right person. I came across this legend not too long ago myself. After hearing about it, I decided to test it out and ask it a question about the brightness of the stars. Two days later, I got a response. It included two pages of detailed and accurate information. It saved me from having to look up a ton of resources. Uh, uh, really? Yeah, so I submitted another question a few days ago. I still haven't received a reply, though. That sounds like what others have said, but I don't have the time to wait for a reply if the Seelie doesn't answer right away. Uh, whatever. Uh, can you please tell me how to submit a question to the Wisdom Seelie? It's quite simple. Go to the bookshelf over there and find either Theoretical Astrology or a Quick Reference Guide to Astrology Cases. Oh, I know where those are. My Darshan has us use those two books quite often. Okay, so write your question in a letter addressed to the Wisdom Seely, and then insert the letter into one of the books. Come back in a day or two, and if you see a red stamp on your letter, that means the Wisdom Seely has replied. However, if the stamp never appears, then that means the Seely doesn't want to answer your question. I see. Thank you so much. I'm going to go write down my question. Hopefully the Seelie replies.
wrote out my question and put it in the book. Uh, wait, I guess. Let's give it some time. I'll come back tomorrow to check on it. Uh, don't worry about me if you have other things to do. I see. <sighs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Alright then, let's meet up here tomorrow. I really hope this silly replies. Time to look at the letter. Please let there be a stamp. Please let there be a stamp. Ah, uh, there's a red stamp on it. The silly responded. Fantastic! Ah, uh, this is wonderful. My troubles are at an end. Oh, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am. Uh, let's take a look at what it wrote. Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you for your letter. Though I have extended a response, uh, I cannot answer your query due to your questionable motives. Uh, uh, questionable motives? Uh, me? Uh, uh, wait, huh? Okay, uh, let's see. Completing a thesis requires independent thought and work. You planned on using my knowledge to complete your paper's most critical portions. That's not right. However, considering that your deadline is fast approaching, and that there is substance to the content in the completed sections of your thesis, I've decided to help you nonetheless. Follow the hints I've left, and you will find the answer to your question. Consider the effort you put into thinking and searching as your payment for my knowledge. What the... It's absolutely right about everything. Oh, I'm starting to feel guilty now. I can't deny any of it. But I'm running out of time. Oh... What should I do? Huh? Uh... I could tell you're a very kind person, but... I never expected that you'd go this far to help me. I'll definitely think of a way to make it up to you once I take care of my thesis. Okay, let's start by looking at the hint it left us. It should be on the second page. The first clue lies hidden on the road of wisdom. The headstrong child finally sees the world for how big it truly is. Filled with awe, yet struck with fear. Uh, that's it? Uh, not even a picture or any other marking to go off of. Oh, this is pretty abstract. What's this road of wisdom and who's the child? Hmm, possibly. That sounds like a natural conclusion. So, is the road of wisdom the road that leads to the academia then? Wait, I think I get what it means by the child and awe and fear. When I first left home, it took me days to reach Sumeru City. Oh, I was completely shocked when I first saw it with my own eyes. It was so grand and awe-inspiring. Pictures of the city simply don't do it any justice. After seeing the city, a thought popped into my head. Am I really worthy of this place? Worry, fear, or whatever you want to call it. Hmm... If I'm connecting the dots correctly, then I think I know where the Sealy is leading us. But how does it know my feelings so well? Uh, you have a point. There's nothing special about my background or experiences. 
It could be anyone's. Uh, anyway, let's go take a look. first traveled to Sumeru City. Aww, it's been way too long since I last visited home. Uh, no, no, this isn't the time for that kind of talk. Oh, we have to hurry and find the clues that the Sealy left behind. Uh, it is. Relying solely on what the Sealy said might not be viable. Hmm... Assuming the silly is intentionally linking the clues to my past, uh, I think I have an idea. Uh, um, so this is a little embarrassing. At that time, the sight of Sumeru City was absolutely mesmerizing. I was anxious, but also excited about all the things to come. I was distracted and... Accidentally stepped on a video leopard's tail. I didn't notice it at all. Oh, the poor thing was sound asleep, and after I stepped on its tail, it bolted straight up. I freaked out and ran as fast as I could. There were actually more video leopards sleeping nearby, and they were all faster than me. I almost got bitten a couple of times. Good thing someone from the Aramites heard me shouting for help. Uh, they managed to scare off the leopards. Yeah, but when I finally managed to calm myself down, I noticed that the talisman my mother had made for me was missing. It's extremely precious to me. Ever since I was little, I would always carry it with me whenever I'm doing something important. I also had it with me when the Academia conducted its selection exam at my village. Oh, I checked my bag at least a dozen times to make sure the talisman was in there. I feel much more at ease knowing that I have it with me. I had thought that it would also help me calm my nerves in Sumeru City. But I ended up losing it before I even finished registration at the academia. Yeah, and that's when I started having sleeping problems. Oh, I just began to sleep less and less each day. Losing a talisman like that is definitely a bad omen. Oh, sorry. I am starting to ramble again. Uh, what were we talking about before? Uh, all right. Why the silly led us here? I think we should look around where the Avidia leopards attacked me. If the silly is trying to make me remember things that happened in the past, it would make the most sense for it to hide clues in memorable locations. Oh, hope the Sealy's clue wasn't also torn to shreds by a video leopards. Uh, I'm sorry, you're right. Uh, it's a bad habit of mine. I suppose any progress is a step in the right direction. Let's go. should be close. Ah, sure enough, it's here. And in a really obvious place. Hmm. 
That pretty much confirms my hunch about the Seelie's intentions. Uh, I don't know, but how did it know about all these details? I've hardly told anyone about this stuff. Uh, uh, it's not hiding somewhere and spying on me, is it? Oh, that's a scary thought. Uh, anyway, let's look at the clue we found. Um, seems like you haven't forgotten about your very first failure. Ah, uh, see? It knows everything. Aw, oh, I have no idea what's going on. No wonder the seal is becoming legendary. Ah, oh, let's keep reading the clue. Ahem. <clears throat> I've placed the second clue where heaven meets water. The answer, seemingly amongst the stars, was ultimately washed to some unremarkable place downstream. Oh, just as I thought. It's something to do with me again. If the first clue was any indication, then the location described in this clue should also be related to my life experiences. Most Ritawahist research is related to studying the stars. Uh, my own thesis work often requires me to go in the field and collect astrological data. And, uh, let's just say there's another devastating and unforgettable failure I had. Uh, but that can't be helped, right? We do many things not because we want to, but uh, because we have to. Uh, let's keep moving. It might be hard to believe, but being out and about is making me feel a lot better uh, than usual. <laughs> More speed. Oh, we're here. Uh, that's the spot. That's where I performed my first field observation after enrolling at the academia. I borrowed some equipment from the school and came here on a perfectly clear day. Everything was ready to go, and I was positive that I'd be able to get some great data. But the equipment was a little heavy, and I didn't notice that the ground was muddy and some spots were unstable. After I finished setting up everything, part of the ground suddenly shifted, and my equipment started teetering over. I rushed over to grab hold of it, but I ended up tripping over another piece of equipment. The next thing I knew, everything was covered with muddy water. Oh, me and all my equipment. You must be wondering how someone can be so clumsy. Uh, thank you for understanding. If I were the one complaining about not being well rested, it would just sound like an excuse. Oh, it's a vicious cycle. The less I sleep, the more mistakes I make. The more mistakes I make, the harder it is for me to sleep. Uh, I just got a minor fracture, so I had to rest at Bimarstan for a while. Oh, to pay off the damages to the equipment, I took some part-time jobs. I just went to work whenever I couldn't sleep. It took me forever to pay off what I owed. Bingo. Oh, The pressure from my studies and debt was crushing me, and I didn't want to tell my family about any of it. After all, I am the legendary Layla who made it into the academia at a young age. Oh, and had never failed an assignment in her life. Of course. I've even considered giving up on my studies completely and returning home to help care for the Sumter Beast, but that would be kind of embarrassing. 
I don't mean that I'd be embarrassed in front of others. Uh, I mean that I'd be ashamed of myself. After all, everything I've done up till now is only a result of my own decisions. Although, it hasn't always been smooth sailing and sometimes things don't go my way. I made it this far on my own. There haven't been any major incidents with my studies and... I even managed to pay off the equipment damages. Uh, but I guess I'm exaggerating a bit. Most of it is still due to the help of some unknown person rather than my own work. <laughs> and that's exactly why they mustn't ever find out. Once I finally manage to acclimate to life in Sumeru City, I'll show them my success. Oh, I hope that day will come eventually. Anyways, let's continue looking for the next clue. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. An unremarkable place downstream was the description. <laughs> It's over here. Oh, good thing it's dry. I was worried the message might be wet. Let's see. Have you found it? The unremarkable place downstream. Well, of course. How else could I be reading this message? Seriously. <clears throat> I've placed the third hint at a crossroad without a cross. You can turn left or right, but turning back shouldn't be an option. Huh, they're actually getting clearer for me. I was sorta of expecting this even before I read the message. I don't know if the clues are following a timeline or if they're based on the amount of regret I have. Either way, this incident was bound to come up sooner or later. Ah, uh, uh, don't say that. Oh, that sounds horrible. Anyway, just follow me. I'll save the story for when we get there. the place that immediately came to mind when the hint mentioned a crossroad. I came here to conduct some astrological observation once. Everything went smoothly on the way, and I thought I was starting to get used to life at the academia. But just as I was about to set up the observation equipment, I heard a strange sound coming from nearby. I made my way here, and discovered a bunch of bandits robbing someone. They were a group of treasure hoarders and the family that was being mugged looked completely helpless. They definitely wouldn't have been able to escape and simply handing over their mora might not have been enough to make the bandits go away. Not exactly. I already had a vision by that time. Someone with a vision should technically be really powerful, right? Handling a group of treasure hoarders should be well within my abilities. However, I didn't know how to channel the power of the elements to fight at that time, and I was super scared. Hmm. I wielded immense power, but... I didn't feel any stronger than just an ordinary person. 
person. Then I ran away. I scrambled towards Sumeru City looking for help. Eventually, I managed to return with the few adventures I ran into along the way. It took longer than I had hoped, and by the time we made it back here, the treasure hoarders and the family were gone. I don't know if the family only lost their belongings in the end, or if something worse happened to them. Oh, I faced a lot of problems after coming to Sumeru City, but this incident is one that I regret the most. I sat on the ground and... and began to cry. I could have stepped in to help that family. W would it have ended differently if... if I were just a little braver? Oh, thank you for trying to comfort me, but... I can't stop myself from thinking that way. It's just as the silly said. Turning back shouldn't be an option. However, I can't help but think about running away whenever I'm faced with a challenge. Oh, but, but what about my thesis? Oh, we still haven't found the Seelie's answer yet. Oh, sorry for causing you so much trouble. All right, I uh, actually don't have much stamina. I've been stressed this whole time and I feel exhausted. I'm really sorry. Up here. I don't think I can walk any further. All right, I'm gonna give my legs a rest. I'll be waiting for you here. I feel bad for making you go through so much trouble for me. Oh, if only I were more capable. I'm sorry. <sighs> I always find myself having to apologize. Uh, but enough of that. I need to pull myself together. The memories I've been reminded of are all really taxing. Uh, I cannot just give up this time, even if my head's not in a good place. Letting these heavy feelings get the best of me will only slow us down. Uh, watch out! Behind you! Monsters! A lot of them, too. Why didn't we see them coming? Uh, no, I'll fight, too. But I want to help. I can't just sit back and watch you while you fight. Uh, don't worry, I can handle myself. I mustn't keep repeating my past regrets. That's the most valuable lesson I've learned today. I should take action when I'm needed and give it my all when the moment calls. If you miss those opportunities in life, you may never get another chance to make up for them. Huh. I suppose that's fate. Alright, let's take them all down. <laughs> for an eye. Huh. Huh. I 
condemn you! Vengeance will be mine! Eye for an eye! Rack and ruin! Good three! Cole, mind to command! Not now! up with my training. <sighs> it's embarrassing to be out of breath so quickly like this. Well, the only appropriate response would be to say that I'm fine, right? Oh, I'm pale due to lack of sleep, not because of the fight. But then again, I know you'd be able to see right through those words. Oh, I'm feeling weak. There's no hiding it. I'm just happy I didn't get in your way during the fight. Oh, <laughs> uh, thanks for the compliment. I sure don't get to hear that often. Although I may not be physically strong, my will is as resilient as they come. I'll be fine after I rest for a bit. Can you stay with me while I recover my energy? <sighs> it shouldn't take long.